How's everybody doing tonight? Alright. Y'all need to give yourselves a hand because the energy in this club man is spirit. Alright, I'm gonna be doing two pieces tonight. They're both part of a quadrilogy that I'm making. It's called Fall of a Nation. The first one is called Young Nation in Jeopardy. <laughs> this young nation was once a strong and mighty fortress. Now their soldiers are weakened and face a great danger. Extinction is the only thing that is guaranteed and imminent. Their youthful vibrance gradually evaporates. The young nation grows steadily ignorant of those who put their lives and dignity on the line for their independence, peace, equality, freedom, and opportunities. Their carelessness causes them to choose another path. Their education, self-improvement, and empowerment take a backseat to living the fast life and being gangster. Deciding to emulate the wrongs and misdeeds they see in the mainstream instead of showing pride in and improving their own communities. The sacrifices great men such as MLK and Malcolm mean little. They are cast aside for the 50 cents and the soldier boys of the world. Nine bullet holes, G, -g, 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 -g unit, and super soaking them hoes mean more than free at last, and by all means necessary. Disrespect for their elders, women, families, peers, and themselves. Are these the things that drive them to go on without remorse? They disrespect and spit on their history and culture. Their disdain for one another is their downfall. Now. The easiest and most convenient answer has always been to redirect fault and cast blame on the one who stands right next to you, when in reality, we are all equally to blame and are all responsible. Forgive every word I'm about, I will utter right now. The problem is not what I have to say. But if we do not stop the... If we do not stop the apathetic and finger-pointing bullshit, then we will just fuck ourselves all over again. Slavery was abolished and outlawed in 1863. However, the chains and shackles of oppression and ignorance still exist because our minds and spirits are still under arrest. We are, all, uh, we are allowing our freedoms and opportunities to slowly disappear. Now, this poem was not to bring down anyone, but to bring attention to the fact that our youth are falling into the cracks of despair and losing themselves. They are falling into the abyss. We need to find a way to redirect them on the right path. If this does not happen, they are doomed to destruction. Now to the young nation. It is up to you to want to change. If things remain the same and you head down that road of negativity and hatred of one another, your existence will be no more. I hope these words serve as an inspiration and not as degradation. Thank you. Second piece is called Letter for My Forgotten Soldiers. Sitting here thinking about what, I, what to say about the brave ones that I consider soldiers, unsure of what to write or how to do so, cannot bring the words out to highlight the significance. I could write about how they protect us, ensuring that all threats to our borders are thwarted, to comprehend what, that they risk it all, to guarantee that we are safe from danger. I could also write about this, no matter what the danger or risks, or how much they decide to leave behind, 
Their only concern is to secure our liberties. What I will say is this. These brave soldiers are our women. They are mothers, sisters, grandmothers, daughters. They are wives, fiancés, girlfriends, baby mamas. They are aunts, nieces, cousins, best friends. Risking their lives, health, and well-being, they deliver us. Also making sure that we have everything we need. They are the ones who bear, raise, and care for our children, making sure that they have everything that is needed. Their unwavering and undying dedication to us is something much more than we deserve. There is no limit to what they do for us, but how do we show gratitude to them? We show our appreciation in the wrong ways. We break them down and abuse them. Blackened eyes, bruised ribs, shattered egos, infidelity, emotional distress, sexual abuse. These are just a fraction of the injustices these brave people endure hourly. As I did before at the conclusion of Young Nation in Jeopardy, I have to address a concern of mine. Our brave soldiers, also referred to as our women, have endured centuries of abuse at our own hands. They have to suffer time and again from the agony that we put them through. Do not think for a second that these words are only meant for the men. Sorry. These words are also not meant for just one ethnic group. This is a pandemic that of ignorance that affects us all, no matter what the color of creed. These soldiers deserve more than we are giving them. Until we change this and give them what they deserve, they will always be the forgotten soldiers. Thank you.